Good morning. Hey. It's August 15th. 2015. As you can tell by the title of this video, I really don't um, intend for anyone else to see this. I very much know that you're aware of my channel and that you've gone through certain videos. You've, of course, seen that series of three videos that I just made. And I know for a fact that you'll see this video. There's no questioning that. I know that. So with that being said, now that I have your attention, I would just like to explain real briefly that the prior three videos um, if, you, if you do feel like, even though I explained that it's not an attack on you, if you do feel like that it is an attack on you somehow, um, I got to let you know that really, no, I just had to go publicly um, defend my name because a great deal of, I don't know if you would call them lies or mistruths or stretching of the truth or exaggerations, but you cannot call them true. A lot of these things were said about me in court, in public, and honestly, uh, I can't really defend mistruths being spoken, especially about me, and I had to go ahead and correct them, and that's why I did that. Hopefully, you, know, you weren't very offended by that. Uh, I'm sorry if you were. Uh, now getting on to the meat of this video, I, just, I had to continue to stress real quick, because it just seems like that you might have a couple problems with me, uh, or it's possible that you do. Uh, let me just address the first one, as far as feeling physically threatened by me. Let me put it simply, you and I both know that you yourself feel absolutely comfortable around me, or at least you have for the entirety of our relationship. So comfortable uh, that is to sleep in the same room as me. I mean, that's one thing. You have to feel pretty comfortable to sleep around somebody. Uh, not to get into too much detail, but we've also been naked together. A number of occasions comfortably I mean like that's not something that you do with someone that you're scared of and, I, and you might say well some ladies do well I don't respect those ladies I, mean, I think that's crazy all right so all sorts of things man I mean as far as being being threatening or whatever dangerous to my my daughter or little kids in general I don't have a history of that Nobody's ever even implied that about me. I have looked after my nieces overnight. I have uh, looked after my baby quite a number of nights and quite a number of days by myself. And never has a problem arose really that I couldn't handle, take care of. I myself have never been someone to cause people injury or you know, something of that nature. So the evidence really isn't in our history. And you, you and I both know, even if nobody else knows, you and I both know that feeling threatened by me physically is quite preposterous. And to even bring up my temper, the thing is, uh, I do have one. Pretty much everybody has one. I'm pretty good at controlling it. In fact, when I get angry, lots of times I'll just keep to myself. And you and I already know this. I just want to reiterate it so as that you know that you and I both already know this. So that's already established. Secondly, I want to get to uh, the idea of you feeling threatened by me in other ways. Other than physical. Alright? Let me just touch on this. Perhaps you feel uh, like it would be possible for me to harass you. Like maybe I would harass you at your work. Uh, 
maybe I would harass you over your phone, and that's why I do not know your phone number. Never been given it. Uh, maybe I'd harass you at your your home, and that's why I don't know your where you live to this day. Maybe I'd harass you over your email if you happen to have an email. And so that's why you never given me your email. Well, for most of those cases, let me just let me just state that um, if I were going to harass you, say over your work, or maybe go to your parents' house, or maybe do whatever. I mean, I know where these, but I know your work's phone number. If I, was, if I was planning on harassing you, let me state the obvious. I would have already done it. It's been a year. I would have already harassed you. So the idea of, of me going out and harassing you now at this point, it's kind of laughable. It, it wouldn't make sense at all. I'll get to a solution to that in a second. All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, now that, that, okay, maybe here's the last thing that you might be feel fearful of or mindful of is that I have a YouTube channel that till, uh, till two days ago I, I had no idea if you were aware of. All right, I have a YouTube channel where I say a lot of things, I try to get things off my mind, I try to tell people about what's happening in the news in case they might like to hear it from someone like me. I say a lot of things, and if you if you take my rambling and you, you say pick and choose one sentence out of it, out of a 15 minute long rambling, you'll uh, probably be able to uh, construe something violent from it, or maybe construe something that's kind of that might seem crazy or out of this world or something like that it might concern you. As to what it is I'm thinking about. However, if you uh, take careful note to all the sentences and context around this uh, concerning statement, you'll realize that none of it is violent, none of it's really uh, jumping to some sort of emotional pitch, none of it is inciting riotous behavior or violence from anybody. You'll see that. But, but here's the thing. Uh, Still, you, maybe you might be confused about something. And also, you don't want to open yourself up to harassment from me. So, uh, here's a solution for you, uh, real quick. If you go to Google or you go to lots of other places, here's what you could do. You could create, and it's not going to take you more than like five something minutes. You can create an anonymous email. And you can send me an email to the address that I wrote below. Um, and you can ask me any sort of question and I'll answer you as briefly and calmly and clearly as possible in the email. And if you find that I'm harassing you, well then you could just stop checking that email. It's, it's, a, it's a junk email. Um, but that's what I could do so that you could feel more comfortable around me. Alright? Before I continue, I just want to uh, put it on the record just in case you don't know, because you probably wouldn't know. Uh, you you probably see him from a distance at this point or in my videos that I, I do have a ring tattooed on my finger. You might wonder, well, hey, what's up with that? What's up with that ring on your finger? Uh, that's your ring. In fact, if you were to look closely enough at it, you'll see your name above the ring. Uh, that was actually the first tattoo that I did on myself. I did that back in September. Also, uh, can't see too well in this light, but I'm going to show you real quick. All right, there is an autistic symbol. Uh, the the reason being is because I'm autistic, my daughter's autistic. It says, this will not stop us. It has a little cross in the hand right there. You couldn't see too well. Um, just in case, I mean, just referring to that one statement where you uh, said that I advocated for shooting all aut autistic people in the head. That's kind of crazy because I'm autistic and I was basically uh, volunteering myself up for something like that. Man, that's not good for me. I'm not going to show you, but I also have your your name tattooed on my ribs right here. Did that myself. I uh, did all of them myself. I have Bebe's name tattooed on my ribs on the other side. Along with tally marks to show how old she is. 
Now, if any of these signs show show you that I don't care about you, or that I, I can't wait to get violent with you, well, I don't know what to tell you about that. But I thought I would let you know about that, uh, so so that you have some sort of idea, because there's no other way you could. Uh, now, to to end to end this, uh, I've given you a solution as far as how to contact me, and I, and I I know that you will do it. Um, I want to mention that as far as visiting my baby in a weird facility from 11 to 1 on Saturdays, I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. And it's not because I don't deserve that treatment, because I don't. As a parent, I don't. Um, but it's more to the point, it's because my daughter does not deserve that. She does not deserve to be forced together as you force her away from her mother on the weekend which is when she gets to see her the most um, and forced into a room so that she's forcibly having to bond with her father that she never had to bond with forcibly before in a room surrounded by parents who may or may not be horrible parents and strangers that are diligently taking notes on the way they were bonding she doesn't deserve that it's not the right thing and I'm not going to do the wrong thing by my daughter. As much as it's tearing me apart, and it's already torn me apart over the course of a year to not see her, as painful as it is, I'm not going to do the wrong thing. Also, I mean, you get to see her on the weekends right now, and so that would be a pretty big inconvenience for you, wouldn't it, to have to take her to a facility and drop her off and pick her up a couple hours later. That would be horrible for everybody involved. I'm not going to do it. I assume that after a number of emails where you find out that I'm not a crazy nutball, you'll feel comfortable to at least drop her off in, I don't know, a safe area. I'm not going to hurt her around other people. I wouldn't hurt her by ourselves. Uh, I'm not going to kidnap her and run away with her. I don't have a vehicle. Uh, it's just not going to happen. It's not in my uh, constitution anyways. All right, let me just... Finish it up. There's there's a solution right there. It's an easy, in your face, in everybody's face solution right there that we can get to. I know that you're gonna email me. Let me finish it up this way. I know that you're gonna email me. I know this. Uh, the reason because is I know that you've seen this video. I know that you have. It's not that I think that you have. I know that you have. And I know this, the solution is too easy. And it makes too much sense to pass it up. Alright. But I do want to make this clear. I've been giving you the benefit of the doubt for about a year now. Uh, I'll let you know that nobody in this world will ever love you as unconditionally as me. Uh, that should just be pretty much fact in your heart. You should already know that. There's not a man... On this earth that would deal with as much as you put me through without at least saying something bad about you. There isn't. Not one. I don't care whose name you're thinking about. No, there isn't. Alright? So, with that being said, there's the solution right there. And I know that you're going to email me. Here's the thing. I know that it might take some time uh, to get your thoughts together. I'm not expecting an email today or tomorrow. But here's what I know. If I don't have an email in my box from you by September, let's just say September. Here's what I know, and it's not what I think. Because I've been giving you the benefit of the doubt. If by September I don't have an email, here's what I know. Something quite sinister is happening. Not to me, but to my daughter. And you might think, well, okay, maybe he thinks he knows what that is. No, I don't think I know what it is. I promise you, I do know what it is. I promise you, and there's nothing that I could do about it, obviously, because no one will believe me, but I do know. So I am expecting an email. I love you. This is August 15, 2015. 